probably the most intimidating aspect of embarking on this project was the sense that we had this incredible responsibility to deliver on in an interactive format in the same way that Peter Jackson had delivered in film. He has taken some of the most beloved literary works of all time and translated them into an epic film masterpiece that has created millions and millions of fans worldwide. Are you frightened? Yes. Not nearly frightened enough. At the beginning of a project, you're working on the conceptual side and the design side. As the project progresses, programmers, artists, animators, environment artists, modeling specialists, texture specialists, all these people are thinking about their one area of the game, but in terms of the overall experience. One of the advantages of being able to work so closely with the filmmakers is we were able to use the models and props that they created for the film as reference for the stuff that we needed to create in our game. In designing Aragorn, we really had to think about all three playable characters at the same time. For example, Legolas is much more of a speed and finesse oriented character. Gimli is a small the battle tank. Aragorn is more a blend of the two. We looked at the moves that each of the characters made frame by frame before we started to build anything. Then we would create a wireframe of the character. This is their basic proportions and size and scale. Then we would add texturing and lighting to complete their wardrobe and add the fine details of their character. The actors were very interested in uh, working with us. In one case, Viggo Mortensen showed us some of his action moves. He and his stunt double open up a crate of swords and start sparring with one another. That became the basis for many of Aragorn's moves. When we were selecting scenes from the film to include in our gameplay, Balin's tomb really stood out as a strong candidate. It's one of the most memorable moments in the first film. We wanted to recreate the sense of ambiance. It's this very strong beam of light on the tomb itself. That was a challenge for our environment modelers and lighting specialists. The village of Rohan levels are unique in the sense that they allowed us an opportunity to expand upon areas within the film. The actual game level itself looks and feels very much like the film locations in terms of lighting, uh, the shape of the architecture, the people who were there, but we actually build upon that in this particular case and create areas of the level for the player to explore and fight in that they perhaps didn't see in the film. There is a union now between the two towers, Orsank and Baradur. What's so wonderful about this game, Lord of the Rings, is that you are getting on your own screen the voices of the original actors, uh, all of them. Help, Aragorn! Aragorn, help! It's incredibly authentic, and I think it's really difficult to make a game based on a film. This game does it. It's very much like the film. We designed a very dynamic music system that reflects the mood of the actual uh, events in game. One ring to bring the war, and in the darkness, fight. In the film, Saruman attacks Helm's Deep with 10,000 Urukai. So we had to use other elements at our disposal to create the sense of battle. Through sound effects and audio, we really make it feel like there's thousands of orcs in the location. If someone plugs in the game and they say to themselves, oh my god, this is the film, then we've achieved exactly what we set out to do. This is the place that I remember from the film. I'm there, I can do something, it's now my turn. That's the way we want the player to feel. Yeah.